Hello everyone. So today let us take a, take a look at uh, this question on the community. And uh, this question is uh, related to integration, one of my favorite thing that I want to do, I like to do with Atlassian tools. So the question is, uh, I'll probably read a couple of lines from the question. Now, the requirement here is that I want our, our, our app's customers. So basically we're talking about some kind of app. I'm not really sure if it is a mobile app. Let us say it is a mobile app to have the option to post issues to their Jira domain from our app. So basically we're talking about from one app or several apps, they need some capability where customers can raise a ticket. So something in Jira. And uh, the other thing here is that this is needed. This has to be done for both uh, cloud and for on-prem instance. And uh, it, it also says here for the on-prem instance without connection to the internet. So I'm not really sure, but I guess uh, uh, I'm assuming here that there is a connection to the on-prem instance. I'm not really sure uh, how you will manage it, but uh, maybe using a tunnel. But as long as you have connectivity or you have some way to reach your on-prem instance, uh, there are possibilities. Now, the thing is that what uh, this user is trying to understand on, I think the requirement or basically the question is, what is the best option or uh, the best approach? So in my opinion, based on my experience, I think the best approach here would be to use uh, the REST API. On server, you have other options. Uh, you can obviously you know, develop your app, your own custom app, and uh, you can use that. But if you're talking about, uh, I mean, even if you create the app, and if you're, if, if you're talking about, especially if you're talking about uh, talking to Jira from outside, I think uh, that is where REST API comes into picture. And the good thing about REST API is that it is, it is applicable for uh, both server and cloud. And uh, if you are developing, let us say, an app, or uh, you know, if you're writing logic somewhere in your app, in your code, to interact with Jira using REST API, because REST API, the way it works, or basically, you know, if you're writing code, you might be utilizing some libraries or, you know, utilities um, in your own favorite programming language. So uh, technology-wise, uh, you're, you're using just one thing. And uh, endpoints are also same. I mean, uh, I, I haven't really done a comparison recently, but uh, from my experience, if you're using the cloud API, it is, uh, of course, a bit different because there are a few things that are definitely different. But uh, but for, for most of the parts, if you look at the reference document for both server, for server, we have Jira 8.13.16. And for cloud, of course, you know, um, it is always on latest. So you, uh, you can, of course, uh, uh, not assume, but you can be assured that your 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 logic or the way your 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 app is going to interact with your Jira instances will be more or less same for most part. And uh, interacting with G, with Jira using REST API is uh, something that many people do. And if you want to, by the way, learn how to do it, I have plenty of videos uh, where I have only talked about. Uh, REST API, like interacting with Jira using REST API. For example, if you go to my website and if you go to the Mastering Jira REST API, you can actually learn a lot about uh, different things that you can do with Jira using REST API. But at the same time, what I have also done on my channel, I've shared, uh, apart from the, the video ex videos where I have given you working examples uh, using Postman or Talent API, but I also have plenty of other uh, videos and scripts in uh, Shell or Curl. So basically, if you if you prefer Shell, I mean, I, I do a lot of things from my computer and I interact with Jira, like, you know, like logging my time and of course doing similar things. So you have plenty of examples. For example, if you want to just create an issue. So let us open this page and search for this example, create an issue. I'm sure I have more examples here. So create an issue link. And uh, yeah, I mean, I have plenty of examples, but uh, you can actually learn how to do these things where you can find the endpoint. Of course, you can find these things on the 
official documentation but uh, when you see something working you have this ability to follow that video and replicate and learn at the same time and that is what i am trying to do i'm trying to share as much as i can so in this particular case jira integration uh use rest api and that is all that is all i want to talk about today i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much bye bye